Well, thanks for being with us here in Ames today, Mark. Yeah, it's great. Um, so for the session today, we got to hear some of your songs in a more stripped down format. You know, yeah. You're well known for your showmanship and your performance, but today we got to hear more of the, um, uh, the lyrical side. So could you tell us about it, the process for songwriting for you? Uh, well, a lot of the songs I just played, uh, they span like, you know, one of them, Night Will Find a Friend, is a pretty dark song, and I wrote that in 1999. And then I think I played something from my new album. Um, no, I didn't. No, I, I played something from Between the Devil and Middle Sea called Death Wish, and that was written in 2000, I think, six or something. And um, in between that time period, uh, my songwriting went from like, really like um, where I would sit down like, and like be confessional and like tell my feelings. And th that was always about death or, or something sex or um, kind of bass, uh, a lot of fear-based songs. But then as I started touring, I realized that like, I had to put my emotions out there, some private emotions, and put that energy out there. So then I kind of was more private about that and more guarded. And so I, you know, I might write a song that like, comes across being about like um, Death Wish, which just sounds like it's about a divorce or it sounds like about car crashes and stuff, and that might be totally different. I have a song on um, my new record called, um, what's that song called? I don't remember. What's that, Aaron, what's that one called um, where it's like evil and fast? Hold on here, and yeah, my drummer's going to answer it. It's like towards the end of the record, and it's like... Um, I can't give you that example. I, 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 you know, I'm not one of these people that like listens. I was having a conversation with this about somebody. I'm not one of these people that like listens to his own music over and over and over. Um, so when I dip back into my old songs, sometimes I, I don't remember the lyrics or the chords or anything. You know, I just I like write them and then I'm done with them and I move on. But anyways, like a song like Death Wish is not very confessional. It's um, guarded and secret. There's a lot of inside jokes just with myself. Um, I try to hide book titles in my songs a lot, um, which you can find in most of them. There's a one hidden in there sometime. And Devil, I did a lot of references to boxing. In my new record, Invisible Criminal, I did a lot of records like rob uh, references to like robbing banks and stuff. Um, so yeah, the lyrical content nowadays is it, it take. It, I don't just sit down and write a tune. I kind of write it over the course of a year and go back to different ones, you know? Is that always how it was? Or when you first started, did songs kind of just all come out at once? Well, I started playing piano when I was three, and I, I don't play the same way anymore. I mean, then it was just like um, learn Toccata and D minor and vomit it back out on the piano and now I really don't care about technique or anything. It's more about telling stories. Uh, but I guess I would have written my first pop song when I was like 11. And I wrote that out like by hand uh, on staff paper. And, and um, that was just like when I first started, I was just imitating songs that I'd heard already, you know. And then uh, probably when I was 17, I was really conflicted with emotions. I really discovered like darkness and where it can take me and so I started being confessional and then once I started touring America I, I realized that I had to sing about this shit every fucking night and it was starting to build up like calluses around me all these negative words you know when you think about Ian Curtis or or Elliot Smith like no wonder why they killed themselves they had to sing those songs every night it's like you you, you create your own monster and it comes to life so now i try to write songs that have like oh this song like knockout on 22nd street which is from devil in middle c is like real positive but it's still got you know kind of dark tough lyrical content you know and i guess i just learned that like you know if you live in in fear and you live in negativity it'll it'll create itself and come back and get you you know like a boomerang um, so now I try to write more about, um, um, thematic fantasies. So 
when you take, um, instead of writing a confessional song, when you take different emotions and you put them in the context of a story, you, you feel that that puts you at a little bit of a distance from those emotions or um, ma makes it less painful to sing about on a nightly basis all around the country? Um, I just think it's, it's less personal. And you know what I've learned is like, well, I went to art school and there's this quote, it's like every portrait is a self-portrait. You know, every, no matter who you paint, it kind of looks like you. And I think I've learned from writing songs, like, yeah, okay, like a friend dies or like, you know, someone commits suicide or something. Like, I don't really need to sit down and write about that. Like, and chances are I'd write a more poignant song if that happened, if some my friend got a phone call, you know, said, you know, so-and-so killed himself today. And then I sat down and I write a song about building a house. Well, like, every portrait is a self-portrait, you know? So, like, it's going to come out in a deeper level in the song, you know? So, nowadays, I'll try and, like, almost write against my experiences and let my experiences, you know... I always tell people, like, if I'm giving a lecture on songwriting or something, um, like a book, uh, everything is implied between the lines, and a song is everything that is in between the lines, you know? So the narrative, it shouldn't be spoken in a song. It should be in between the lines. And in a book, you know, like the implied shit should be in between the lines. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I guess I've learned that um, not writing about what you want can actually be more sophisticated way of doing it anyways. You also compose music um, for... Um for films and, and other things like that. Um, are you able to, when, when you're composing music, are you also trying to bring a, a narrative across just with the sounds? Um, it depends, you know, I've done a lot of movie trailers where it's just a vehicle to uh, sell the movie and there's like six or seven composers working on it and you're doing like 10 seconds. So you're basically like building a part that goes on a car and you try to build the best part you can when I'm scoring a feature, like the whole thing, uh, like I just recently did one that's all like jazz, like a whole jazz quartet, and I composed that. And then um, definitely a sound is like the color of the narrative. And uh, I find that I like to work against the narrative with the, with the soundtrack, you know? Like, uh, I, I love the soundtrack to Jaws, but it kind of bugs me when everything's happy and the music is happy and then everything is scary and the music is happy. You know, John Williams does that a lot. I'm not a huge fan, even though I think he's a brilliant composer and I don't have that much talent at all. Uh, but it, I, I mostly like to, you know, like, um, uh, I, I did this uh, music for a f video game that was canned. It was like a Fallujah video game. Mm -hmm. And it was like a recreation of Fallujah battle. And I did the music for this part. And it was really aggro. They wanted something really aggro, you know? So I wrote this aggro thing. But then I was like, I want to work against it. So I took all these, like, clusters of notes that were all dissonant. And, like, violins. And just had it, like, stretching underneath it. Not, like, in a Velvet Underground way. But, like, in, in like, a Shostakovich kind of way. Just really, really, like, kind of tense. But not really what you would think of. Not, like, aggro, fight, fight. And all of a sudden, it like added a level of sophistication, a level of, you know, because whenever we're doing one thing, our we're carrying our history with us, we're carrying our emotions with us. So, you know, I like to um, work against what is already there and try and bring out like a darker part or a lighter part if it's dark, you know. Hmm. So 